Hey, this is come on in to this movie. Come on in, y'all. Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks that sit and chat with who? This hood, girl, to the hood. Let's say prayers, y'all. I mean, no, let me tell you what the movie is about. Why am I rushing? Y'all, this is mac and cheese. It's a new cheese that I found. Well, I didn't find it. It's the second time I made it. I wanted something different today. And, of course, that corner sin is leftovers. Uh, this is the end of November, y'all. Get ready to roll on December in a few couple of days. This is scene one. Take one. Let's roll the tape. Come on in, y'all. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water, your food, snacks. Let's sit and chat with who? Me. This hood girl to the hood. Y'all, we have... Let me show y'all this box. It's called White Cheddar Garlic Macaroni Cheese. Y'all see that? I wanted something different because I did not do macaroni and cheese on... Thanksgiving, this is just a little a leftover rice dressing as well. And of course, this Cornish hen. Uh, I'll always remember, eating good says, have not, won't not, have not, won't not. Let's, ooh, this plate is hot, y'all. So look at that. Y'all ready to dig in? Yum, yum, give me some. I am. But let's say prayers, uh, y'all. Father God, thank you for this another day. Thank you for mercy and grace, understanding. Oh, my God, tender mercies, divine favor. Thank you. Thank you for ordering our steps in your word. My God, have your way in our lives. Lord, let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. So, y'all, this is a new week. If I can hold this water. <laughs> this is a new week. Just believe God. And trust him. Yeah, so salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I am so proud of me. I, I still have my um, my hair out. I haven't put no crochet in. I'm letting it, my sides and back grow. And y'all can see it's really growing. I tried to press my hair and... Straighten my hair, not with not with chemicals though, y'all. With the straightening iron and I have an electric uh, uh, electric um, presser. Y'all, my hair is doing whatever it wants to do. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let it do what it do, okay? Cause I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm gonna put some pieces in it though. One day, not right now, y'all. I got to say hello, because you'll start over. I told Alexa, I said, play some soulful Christmas music. I tried to put it as low as I can, because, you know, the people in the back office of YouTube, they are, you know, copyright you. Honey, Alexa started some music I've been singing now for 40 minutes. It reminded me all the music that our grandmothers and our mamas played back in the, oh, in the day so good. No pain. Cause I'll be happy Christmas once again. Oh. Here y'all have some white cheddar. Oh y'all, oh, mm. Mm. Damn, it's good. Yeah, I know I added some uh, some parsley and uh, black pepper. So y'all still eating on them leftovers, y'all? I'm going to tell y'all what I did. The next day, honey, I went to the store. Or was it the next day? Got them freezer bags, baby. That stuff got in the freezer real fast. Well, not the corner tins. But rice dressing and cornbread dressing is in the freezer for another day. You know what, y'all? 
I was thinking today that we cook all this food, especially in this season. We didn't have a house full, so you have all this food. I'm not doing it for Christmas. Actually, the plan was... Um, oh, y'all, I put some barbecue sauce on my hand today. But I'm going to open up this house out. Okay, y'all know I had a plan to go for sister's house on Christmas Eve and uh, bring a ham. And we was going to smoke the ham for Christmas. So I woke up just morning thinking about going, just going out of town for Christmas, just in a hotel room for a couple of days, just me looking over the water. Eating hotel food. Don't don't have to worry about cooking all this stuff that nobody is going to eat. I'm just going to be doing different things in my life, y'all. We only have this one life. And we you know we stay in this tradition from what our mothers and fathers and grandmothers taught us. I'm getting out of it. I told my son yesterday, my middle son. He called me. He said, Mama, you okay? I said, yes. I had just pulled up uh, in, in the Walmart parking lot. He said, I said, why are you asking that, baby? He said, because, Mama, it is 1 o'clock in the, in the afternoon and you haven't been on Facebook. <laughs> he said, I kept looking for your green light. He said, you didn't like none, none, nothing that I post and I didn't see no post from you today. And I'm like, what's wrong with my mama? I'm like, oh, God, you identify me with Facebook. <laughs> Thank you for the love. But we started to talk about uh, patterns, presets. And you see, mama, uh, the way I live now, I remember you did it. I have to, you know, every day I, I have to do things at a certain time of the day. And I said, yeah. I said, yeah, I did that for years. Mm-hmm. For years. Every morning I had to get up at a certain time. About sometime in the morning I had to be at the store doing laundry, cleaning up and all that other stuff. I, I, I told him, I said, but you know what? A few years ago, I stopped because I felt like I was restricting myself from real freedom. Yes, you have to be balanced. Yes, some things has to be planned. But for me, I had to leave that schedule, y'all. You know, I remember back in the day, my children could not sleep after 8 o'clock. I get in their room and say, "Get your get your ass up because you didn't have you didn't have a night job. Get up." Now I don't do that anymore. Because I think when you restrict yourself, you're gonna miss some things sometimes, a lot of times, you know. So he asked me, "Well, what do you mean?" I say, "Because Andre." What if I say I have to be at the store at 9 o'clock in the morning because I need to be back at home at 11 every day, every day, every single day, every day, every day. I said, but what if my man was going to be at the store at 2 o'clock p.m.? I think about things like that, y'all. Oh, a blessing. A new job. Something. So I told him I let that pattern go. And that's when I really be believe that I said, wow. I restricted myself from so many other things. You know? Mm -hmm. This kind of hand still good, y'all. It's even better. But the skin is the, not as crunchy. So yeah, y'all. That's what I, 
I believe that when you get older, you just do things differently. What you believe 20 years ago, you don't believe it no more. You don't do things the same, you know? Because you grow. And you think about things a little different, you know? Than you did when you was in your 20s. Even in your 30s. You know what I mean? So for me, uh -uh. I'm glad I let all that go. You know, I told him now when I'm planning this because I'm I'm about to go on a vacation and I need I need plane tickets. That's planning. Or if I'm planning to move, that's planning. But I told him I can't plan my everyday life because I don't know one re one a minute to another what I'm gonna be doing. So I told him don't restrict yourself too much longer. You're gonna miss some things. Mm hmm Yeah, this is so good. With that uh barbecue sauce. Well, it's like barbecue chicken. Well. <laughs> Y'all see I'm enjoying myself, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all, if y'all seen my cigar video, or did that, they ain't like it. I ain't like that video. And it cut off shorter. I was talking about the young boy and girl that got out of that car and uh, he uh, she had the orchid a beautiful orchid plant in her hand and he said well I'll take that he said you get the bags I was like get the bags so when she got all them bags out of their black truck she had maybe seven on his arm and five on his arm. He had one bag in that orchid plant. And when she was going to the elevator, he screamed out. He said, you left the bag. <sighs> Y'all, I wanted to say something, but that was not my business. If that's how they do things, that's how they do things. by myself but 10 years ago I began to live where I love and high rises you know and mid rises buildings with elevators but I did know if I'm going shopping or even to the store I don't want to come up and down that elevator to get my things out my car so I went and bought a buggy to roll, fill it up and roll it on one one time. But even if I did not have one and I had a man, I wish he would tell me to take get them bags. I wish he would. But everybody do things different. But there's a few things, or can I say a lot of things, I won't do if I had a man. Because I can do everything by myself. When you have a man, you giving up some things because you want that man of the house to handle some things, period. Well, I do. Sometimes. And when you got that man, you 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 wanna you wanna let some of that stuff go. So I do, but y'all know I 
our young people do things so different. But whatever works, I guess. This macaroni and cheese is good, y'all. I'm gonna keep that in my uh my pantry. Crunch in is good. It's still so juicy. We got the wishbone. <laughs> y'all remember back in the day? We used to eat that chicken. And you have to make a wish and break the wishbone with somebody. <laughs> okay, y'all. Y'all grab this piece. I'm going to grab this piece. Just close your eyes and make a wish. Did you make your wish? Oh, yeah, I'm full. Alexa paid that sound Santa Claus. I right, see she she heard me and I was talking so low. Santa Claus is coming to town. But my Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. I hope y'all can hear that because I'm going to have to fight uh, them. I, I hear it over here, so they might hear it too. Mm hmm He checking his wife. Going to find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. It's coming to town. How about y'all time to go? My videos are starting to be long, and I don't want them long, but, honey, I did that, didn't I? I got that other half right there. Let's give everything I said, Father, I love y'all. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do about it. Let's do this. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you do for the rest of this day, baby, do it with with genuine love and with grace and kindness, you know. You know I love y'all. Bye-bye.